bulwark shall be for naught! Hit the release valve! New update, and we have a lot of things to talk about. We're here in the simulacrum with Bag. So, I have here the Skyward Atlas. It's a grimoire. You can also rename grimoires, of course. If we summon a bunch of corrupted heavy gunners, let's first off pay attention to the bottom right hand corner of the screen. And notice how I'm just generating a lot of energy now for the next. 15 seconds so you gotta love that just being able to do that and also I've built my Skyward Atlas to just really pump out the status effects on enemies so notice how we have a lot of status effects here this is going to become really important in a second because of course we are using this in tandem with something like the Paris Prime and so naturally Paris Prime against, you know, these enemies, you know, does take a little bit of time, even with Incarnate Mode, it will take a little bit of time. But now, uh, absolutely not. And if we group them up and do all, all of this kind of shenanigans, some pretty big meaty red crits in there. So, you know, really just allowing a uh, gun dish overload to flourish just like that. Let's just quickly have a look at the build that I'm using on the Skyward Atlas. <laughs> okay, that's not a sentence you could ever say in Catch an Impact. We're here with the build of Skyward Atlas. It is pure utility and this works really, really well because we actually have quite a lot of new things involved. First off, in order to get that gigantic energy regeneration, we're using Zata Invocation. The Invocation uh, uh, mods, they're all very expensive, but they all seem really, really good. So I would recommend all of them, really. Like this one, Netra, does sound really, really strong as well. Uh, Vom, of course, is just extra power strength if you need it. Uh, Riss is extra ability duration if you need it. Keep in mind that with Riss and Vohm, you do have the helmet that could potentially substitute that a little bit. But yeah, Zata <laughs> just giving us energy regen. I think that's going to be the one for me. I don't want to use Netra mainly because I already have a lot of efficiency on my mag. But this could be useful on other Warframes that don't have that efficiency on them. Otherwise, uh, this build... We have Accelerated Isotope, which is just free radiation damage, which is why I'm able to do Corrosive Radiation Cold. There's actually radiation mods for all weapon types. So that's going to be something that you could potentially look into, just having like your elements, but then also radiation as well. And on top of that, I am going for Corrosive, but the reason why I'm going for Corrosive damage on this weapon isn't because I want those Corrosive procs because I'm playing mag, I don't need those Corrosive procs. But the main thing is so that I have something that uses that electricity, because this weapon does have innate electricity, so that I can then use Frostbite and have Cold procs. Because Cold procs are really, really good. Cold procs actually increase the, what is it, crit damage that a target takes so if i can stack more cold status effects on them they take more critical damage and that is something that we don't have a lot of like outside um sources of extra critical damage so i feel like having that cold proc is just really really good otherwise gale diffusion Actually, really, I should use regular. I should, should just use this actually, because whatever. But um, because I'm not killing anything at any point in time. Uh, and then lethal torrent, and then also f additional fire rate. Additional fire rate, I think, is really, really good for something like the tome because this thing doesn't have any ammo. It's infinite ammo, so you can just hold click, and it's full auto, and you just go nuts. The way that this weapon just straight up like is making me use secondary weapons more often now. I think that pretty much is mission accomplished for DE because I've really never used secondaries for the longest time and that includes using things like Light of a Thousand Stars, i.e. Cinematic Gamma Core, like yeah I liked it because it happened to be my favourite of the secondary weapons but 
I didn't like secondary weapons. The term is actually, <laughs> as of right now at least, making me use secondary weapons a lot more. So perhaps having a secondary weapon that really allows you to fulfill that niche, not even necessarily niche, like utility role, if you're a primary uh, main like myself, I think that's a really good move by DE, so hopefully we'll see some more tomes coming out in the future. Uh, obviously this one doesn't doesn't seem to do as much damage as one would hope, but that's okay because you can definitely build it for a lot of utility, but maybe in the future we might see one that is more damage focused, uh, and less status focused I guess, like more damage, more crit, more all that good stuff. Um, one that could do a lot of kills because there's also a bunch of tome mods that are called canticles and at least for me personally i'm finding it a little bit difficult to activate those particular uh, tome mods because they require kills and well i haven't really made a damage build for my tome yet but it might be a lot easier if we do end up with a damage focused tome at some point because this is a new weapon type so de have clearly indicated that they are going to be making more tomes in the future so i'm looking forward to that let me know what you think all of this in the comments below. How have you built your tome? Let me know in the comments. Corrosive, radiation, cold. Sounds like a really, really good idea to me. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. If you like this video, hit that like button. Subscribe for more Warframe content. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Oh, we are so back. Bye.